Hi, I'm Lou Gaddis. I'm your instructor for the BA 536 class, the Global Immersion for the Executive MBA program. I want to walk through the syllabus a little bit to give you an introduction to the course and the expectations and give you an idea of uh, what's coming up for the next few months. If you need to get a hold of me, uh, you can always email me at gaddis at psu.edu or at lougaddis at gmail.com. Also, if you need to get a hold of me in an emergency, Here's my mobile phone, 814-404-9261. Hopefully that'll be working uh, in Brazil and certainly uh, anytime I'm, I'm in the States. Uh, I'll give you an idea. I'm, uh, I've been at Penn State for 10 years. Right. I've been at Penn State for 10 years. I actually graduated Penn State a few decades ago. Uh, I went to work at IBM doing corporate finance and I went to work at a bank uh, doing investment management. I wound up going back to school and uh, getting a PhD and taking a position at the University of Maryland. And then I came back here to Penn State. Uh, at Penn State, I teach a global finance class and the MBA uh, program once in a while. I do an undergraduate uh, uh, global finance class and I do financial modeling classes. Uh, also, I usually travel to Europe in the summers and do study abroad with uh, Penn State students. Some other links for me. are my uh, Google site page. Every once in a while, if I uh, say Angel's down or I need to get a file or a video to you, I'll, I'll put it to my home page. For the same reason, I have a YouTube page. Uh, that's primarily used for my undergraduate and MBA classes on campus where I'll podcast lectures so students can review them afterwards. And also, here's a LinkedIn profile if you want to join up with me on LinkedIn. So this course, we're going to have first meeting is in a few weeks, uh, March 20th and 21st. Looks like we have the 3.30 session on Friday and then the 1 o'clock session on Saturday. And then we have the immersion a few weeks after that. And then we get back together a couple weeks after the immersion. So the course includes both two weekends and the immersion. The objectives for the uh, total experience is we're going to analyze Brazil's geopolitical, uh, business, and cultural environment prior to the immersion. That way we'll hopefully get more out of the actual immersion. Uh, while we're there, we'll be taking notes and, and having a lot of experiences. And then when we get back to uh, Philly, we're going to kind of expand upon some of those ideas and, and, and kind of see what we learned over that experience. Uh, and also, um, since my uh, expertise is in global finance, and I teach some classes on global financial management, I thought I'd bring some lectures into the classroom in Philadelphia in between these other uh, objectives and, and provide you uh, what I'm calling is a kind of global finance for a non-finance executive. So what would every non-finance executive need to know about global finance? So I'm going to try to keep it at that level. The assessment for the course is based on four items, each weighted equally. One is going to be uh, presentations and participation in the classroom in Philly. We're going to have some presentations both before and after uh, the immersion. Uh, we'll also then have active participation while on the immersion. So I'll be looking for people to contribute to the learning environment by asking good questions and answering questions and, and generally being alert and ready to pick up on, on, on things over there. And then there'll be some two take-home assignments. All right, take-home assignments will be individual. We'll have one before we go and one when we get back. It'll be due uh, about a week after we get uh, we, we finish our class on Saturdays. Those assignments will be some computations, some short answers. As far as the course material, I'm going to post some PowerPoints to Angel in the next couple of weeks. And also, I may have some articles. All right, there is no book assigned for this class, so don't look for a book. Also, here's the link for the student zone which is set up by our partner in Brazil. I'll also be using Angel so you can see right now I have an Angel page set up. Uh, the lecture slides are blank right now. This is a link to the immersion student zone and this will be some drop boxes for the midterm and final assignments and here's the current syllabus. Here's some information based uh, for academic integrity. Affirmative Action, ADA, and Learning Disabilities. 
And here's a give you, here's a good idea of our schedule. So the first time we get together will be Friday, uh, March 20th. On that day, we'll kind of have a quick overview and we'll kind of meet again and talk about the syllabus. And then we're going to have presentations. So uh, my understanding is there's six groups of pe of, uh, of team or six teams that have been formed uh, in Philly. So team one, whoever you are, I assume you know who you are. It's actually the back of the syllabus who you are. I want you to do a, a 20 minute presentation on Latin America. So what I'm looking for you to do is hand out a one page uh, summary of your presentation to the entire group. So bring about 30 copies. And then I want you to talk for about 20 minutes on a brief history of Latin America as relates to the current environment. All right, so you don't need to talk, uh, go back to the caveman days. Uh, just give us an idea of why you know the borders look like they do and why is it called Latin America and why they have certain languages and culture. So just kind of a more recent history and how it relates to the current uh, geopolitical arrangements in Latin America. Uh, whatever information you can find on the business environment of Latin America. So what are their governments look like? Uh, uh, are they rich? Are they poor? Or do they have any trade unions or treaties? Uh, are they growing? What are the natural resources in Latin America? Uh, is it easy to do business over there? Actually, a great website is easeofdoingbusiness.org. I think that's the name of it. So if you Google ease of doing business, you'll find some ratings. Uh, you can also find some risk measures for different company or uh, countries over there and then who are the two the top firms in Latin America I'll then do a lecture my first lecture of global finance for executives and it'll talk about country risk analysis how do you assess the risk of a foreign country for doing business there and then team two on a first Friday we're there is going to do a presentation sorry about that and that pre presentation is going to be on Brazil so the first topic was on Latin America. That's team one. Team two is going to do a 20 minute presentation. Before you start, please give a handout uh, to the whole group. So maybe we can kind of take these handouts on the trip with us. And I want you to do is describe Brasilia, Brazilian uh, brief history as it relates to the current environment there. So, you know, why do they speak the language they speak? Why are the borders drawn the way they are? How old is the government there? Um, also describe the business environment that you can find anything, any information you have about how rich uh, they are, their politics, their governments, their openness. Are they growing? Uh, what natural resources do they have? You know, what are their scores as far as uh, ease of doing business over there? And then what are some of the top businesses in Brazil? We'll finish every day with a little class survey. And then on Saturday, I'm going to have Team three, present on Brazilian current events and issues. So I want you to go out and see what uh, are the current issues in Brazil. You know, maybe th uh, three to five issues that uh, you could find through a Google search or a New York Times search and see what people are talking about, whether they be, uh, again, uh, economic or political or related to the government in a different way uh, or businesses. What are the key stories over there? And give us a good background on those key stories. All right, so so this would be a list of these are the key stories. So you don't have to try to do any editing there. These are, say, the three to ten major stories that you found. And then take a couple of those stories that you think might be interesting uh, for an executive MBA class and do a deep dive into those couple of issues. I'll do another lecture then after you're done. And I'll talk about uh, foreign exchange systems and determinants. So why, you know, why is uh, why is the euro trading at 120 right now and the uh, uh, the uh, Chinese yuan trading at about six yuan per dollar? And what does it mean to have yuan per dollar versus dollar per euro? And why do exchange rates go up or down? So we'll talk about that. We'll also talk about how exchange rates are determined and manipulated by governments. Then team four, I'm going to have you do a Sao Paulo uh, city profiling guide. So it's going to be two pieces here. One's going to be kind of business related. So give me a city business profile. By the way, you're going to do a handout also. So give me a city business profile. So what information could you find related to, say, an executive is looking to enter that market? You know, what information do you have about Sao Paulo? Is that a, uh, how large is it? How big is that market? Uh, tell me about the city, the safety, uh, anything you can have as far as setting up a business in Sao Paulo. You know, what's the income distribution? What is the average income? And then the second part of that presentation is as a tourist, right? Because we're all going over there. We're going to do the business visits. But in the evenings and a few of the days, we're going to set up tours. 
So what is there to see and do in Sao Paulo? And specifically, if we wanted to see that, one, is it already on the itinerary? So if it is, we don't have to worry about it. But two is, if you recommend a few things to see, one, looking at the schedule online at the student zone, you know, what nights you think we could see it? You know, how, how would we get there? Would we, you know, be done by five o'clock, grab some dinner and get somewhere at night? Or do we have a couple mornings off? So uh, just looking for some things to do and see while we're there outside of the official itinerary. And then maybe a little tour sur survival guide. You know, what have you read about safety, getting around on the buses uh, or metros or, or taxis? Uh, what foods should we try? What, what have you heard about prices? What about tipping? Uh, there are languages or certain phrases we, sh we should know. Do the typical people speak English there? Uh, and then maybe uh, what to pack and maybe let us know about the neighborhood directly around our hotel, right? If a couple of nights you're going to be coming home and you're tired, is there a couple places we can just stop to see uh, or grab something to eat? And then after that, Team 5 will do the same thing for Rio. So a little business profile and then a little tourist guide. Again, make sure you bring a handout. All right, so that is our, our Saturday. I'll, I'll, I'll finish up. Well, so we have a few more, so I'm sorry, a few more things to do here. Um, I will then do a lecture, another kind of finance, uh, global finance for, for executives lecture. And that's going to be on foreign exchange again, talking about how to use exchange rates and quotes to try to figure out what cash flows are for a multinational firm. And then group six, group six will be a, we'll do a pre briefing on immersion visits and also bring a handout. So what you do is go out to the student zone, get the uh, current itinerary. There's about eight visits scheduled. So these are usually business visits or business related topics and give us an idea, kind of run down what they say about them. And then find if you can, or see if you can find any background material. So if they list, say, a Brazilian firm, uh, you know, give us a quick dump on, on what that firm is and how big they are. Uh, also, based on the information you have, uh, what kind of questions uh, uh, could we ask them? And what, what, are, what would you like to learn from those sessions? So for each visit, uh, when it's appropriate, you, know, you might see a visit that you're not really sure what to, you know, based on the information provided, you're not sure what to say. But for each one of those visits that you could, uh, you can kind of see what the what the uh, firm's about and what issues might come up. You know, what are the learning objectives you feel uh, are important? What do you want to get out of that session, and what questions could we ask? I'll do one more lecture at the end of that Saturday, talking about foreign exchange transactions, and again we'll do a survey. All right. From then, we're going to go straight on the immersion. That's the next time I'll see you would be in Brazil. And then when we get back, we won't talk about this very much because uh, this is a long way from now. But when we get back and uh, get together in May 1st and 2nd, we're going to have presentations again. And we're also going to have a couple more lectures for me. All right. Those presentations, uh, they're going to be determined later. Actually, they're going to be determined while we're on the trip. So I've done a couple of these trips before, and sometimes we'll see when we're visiting a firm, uh, some questions get raised, but then we run out of time and they never get finished. So while you're out there, I, I might see some things uh, that I'd like to cover when we get back. So for example, a couple of years ago when I, I took the trip, I uh, wound up having some questions uh, about uh, a manager at Rio Blanco. Uh, asking them some com or asking to uh, groups to comment on uh, the influence of big box stores buying their their uh, their outputs. So you know while you're there, I you know expect you to take some notes and um, if good questions come up, you can kind of feed them to me. That'd be great. But by the end of the immersion, usually on the plane ride home, I'll come up with some good questions and I'll email them out to you a couple weeks before we get back together on May 1st and May 2nd. And also sometimes what we do is we set up some debates. So if there's a, a couple good questions that I think are worthy of debate, I might set up, say, you know, team one versus team six debate uh, this particular topic that came up while we're on the immersion. So again, we'll talk more about that when we get closer or um, we'll say what the format of debate is, or if we just do presentations. Again, we'll find out based on the trip. All right, so, uh, so that's my video syllabus. Hopefully you have a good idea of what to expect over the weekend before, the, the weekend before we go away, uh, while we're away, 
and uh, when we get back. Hopefully these are the current teams. So when I say team one, two, three, four, five, and six, these are the people that are going to do those presentations. And again, if you're looking for some resources, you can go to Angel, right? There's no information out there besides the syllabus yet, but there is a link to the student zone. Uh, I may post uh, more material on my YouTube page. This video will be out on my YouTube page. We can always connect on LinkedIn. Here's the student zone website. So you can have, uh, you'll see your pre-departure, my zone, and see if you want to buy some extra days before or after trip, this is the place to go. And again, uh, there is the angel page. So thanks a lot for your time, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in a few weeks.